In this video, I'm going to teach the injog. The injog is a way of marking the location of a card or multiple cards uh, without using a break or a cramp. So, all an injog is essentially is a card that is slightly pulled back from the rest of the deck. The idea is that it's not visible from the front of the deck to the audience, and you can use it to transfer a card to a break above the card, a break below the card. You can also use it in false overhand shuffles and different things like that. So, to get a card in, in an injogged position, uh, all you have to do is, you know, maybe you have a, a selection like the Four of Diamonds. Um, what you can do is, as you're bringing the other packet on top, uh, just catch that top card of the bottom packet with your thumb and then pull back as you set it on top. You don't want to pull the card back too far or else the audience will be able to see it. So, you know, maybe something closer to the edge there along the border is uh, preferred, but you don't want it so short that you uh, can't use it again. <laughs> so. Once you have an injog, there are a few things you can do as well. Uh, so maybe you have an injog card here. You can push down and get a break above it. If you have an injog card, you can push up and get a break below it. Um, injogs are also helpful if you want to keep the location of multiple cards, as I said earlier. So, you know, maybe you have the two of clubs that's injogged, and then maybe you have, you know, the ace of clubs. You injog that. Now you have location of multiple cards marked for later. And then uh, that's pretty helpful. You can also use the injog, as I said before, uh, with shuffles. You know, maybe you want to mark the location of something. You can injog a card as you deal it, and then sloppily shuffle the rest, and then uh, square up the deck a little, and then you have an injog uh, with that card. So that's the injog. Overall, it's a pretty helpful move.